In this video, we're going to look at methods that might be used for making the gas carbon dioxide. A very standard way of making carbon dioxide is to use the thermal decomposition of a metal carbonate. The metal carbonate must be of a metal that is low in the reactivity series. A very simple example of this would be to heat copper carbonate. On heating copper carbonate, the carbon dioxide will be driven off. Copper carbonate is a green solid. On heating, the carbon dioxide will be driven off and the thermal decomposition of the, co the copper carbonate will occur. Um, to show that carbon dioxide gas has been produced, we will use a test using a liquid um, which is calcium hydroxide dissolved into water, which is commonly known as lime water. If you wanted to prove that there was some carbon dioxide, you would use a small quantity of the lime water to, uh, to confirm any gas that is produced. If I connect this up with the delivery tube, make sure the bottom of the delivery tube is in the lime water, and heat. We'll see straight away that the copper carbonate decomposes uh, rapidly. So I'll heat it gently to start with. The bubbling that you see at the moment is simply because air uh, has expanded and is leaving the flask. As I start to warm, you'll see that the green copper carbonate is turning to a black colour. The lime water is slowly starting to go milky. The carbon dioxide gas is produced. In fact, if you continue for a long period of time to bubble the carbon dioxide gas through the lime water, the lime water actually will eventually clear. Sometimes the black copper oxide which is formed on the heating of the copper carbonate, the black solid that you can see in the boiling tube, looks as if it may be slightly gaseous. But this is because the particles are very fine and the gas carbon dioxide, as it leaves, lifts up the solid particles. An alternative method for making carbon dioxide is to use uh, another reaction of the carbonate, of a metal carbonate. This time it doesn't matter whether the metal is high or low in the reactivity series. This re type of reaction will always occur. This time I'm going to use what are sometimes called marble chips. They are pieces of calcium carbonate. So this time not copper carbonate, but we're going to use calcium carbonate. This time we do not need to heat. I'll just put a few bits of the 
drop it, uh, the calcium carbonate into the boiling tube. That will be a plenty in excess. And I'm going to add to that, so this time we are going to add to the calcium carbonate, we're going to add dilute hydrochloric acid. Acid plus carbonate, acid plus metal carbonate will always produce a salt, water, but most importantly, carbon dioxide gas. So if I once again set up with uh, some of the lime water in the additional tube. This will be a way of proving and testing that we have carbon dioxide. And then we will be able to bring in As soon as the reaction starts and I add the acid, we will be able to see if any of the carbon dioxide is driven off. Yep, so the hydrochloric acid is added and the bun is placed on as quickly as I can. Immediate bubbling. If we place the bun into the top, See it bubbles through the lime water in exactly the same way as before. The lime water, of course, goes cloudy. We let this one run for a little while. If you continue to bubble the carbon dioxide through the lime water, ultimately it will clear again. Um, and as you can see, there is a very healthy production um, of the carbon dioxide gas. So we might ultimately reach the point where the carbon dioxide is produced in sufficient quantity that we get um, the reversal of the milkiness, um, but that may take a little bit of time. You might be able to see that the lime water is just starting to perhaps clear again. And this is a complication with the lime water test that any carbon dioxide will turn it milky, but rather remarkably, having turned it milky, if you continue to bubble carbon dioxide through the lime water, it in fact goes back to clear again and you're left with the colourless solution. Lime water is calcium hydroxide solution.